Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're spending time with three-time Academy Award winner Jack Nicholson. Jack was one of Oscar's favorite males of the 1970s, racking up one Oscar nomination after another and finally winning it on his fifth nomination for 1975's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And he's remained at the top of his game ever since, not always playing the focal role in a film either, occasionally playing a supporting part, as he did in Warren Beatty's 1981 film Reds, then he'd do another lead, as in 1982's The Border, directed by Tony Richardson. I mean, you never quite knew where Jack was going to show up next. And he indeed surprised everyone when he did our next movie, because in no way is it a Jack Nicholson film. It's very much a Shirley MacLaine movie, with Jack playing a supporting role and doing it beautifully. So beautifully, it brought him an Academy Award as the year's best supporting actor. The film is Terms of Endearment, from 1983, co-starring Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger. And in this case, not only is Jack Nicholson playing, in essence, a supporting role, but it's a part which had first been offered to Burt Reynolds. Smart choice for Jack, though, as it turned out. The film went on to win all sorts of Oscars for Best Picture, for James Brooks as Best Director, for Shirley MacLaine as Best Actress, and Jack going home with his prize. It was the second of the three Oscars to his credit so far, that third being for 1997's As Good As It Gets. Our movie, Terms of Endearment, is about the relationship between a mother and a daughter over a period of years. The story comes from a novel by Larry McMurtry, author of HUD, Lonesome Dove, and The Last Picture Show. Now, Jennifer Jones was the first one to really champion the story, and she shopped it around to several studios as a possible vehicle for her to do on screen. But eventually she passed on it, where it ended up in the perfect hands then, including those of Jack Nicholson as an astronaut who lives next door to Shirley MacLaine. He's a pot-bellied, middle-aged, cantankerous guy who becomes Shirley's confidant and occasional horizontal companion, and it's Nicholson at his best. Here it is from 1983, Terms of Endearment. The role of Garrett Breedlove was originally intended for Burt Reynolds, who later said he turned it down because of a scheduling conflict. It's been speculated, though, that the real reason is because the part is, in essence, a supporting role. Whatever the reason, he didn't do it. So then several others were offered the role or considered for it, such as Paul Newman, before Jack Nicholson agreed to sign on. At the time, many were surprised, though, that he did accept a supporting role at that point in his career when he was riding so high, but Jack relished this part. He told interviewers that some of his early heroes in the movies were middle-aged character actors like Walter Houston and Edward Arnold, Charles Bickford, and he wanted to be like them. But he said he patterned his character of Garrett Breedlove on two specific men, his brother-in-law, who'd been a test pilot, and a high school friend who'd become an astronaut. Up next, Nicholson in the cult classic from the late 60s that really jump-started his career.